what is up guru gang it's your girl the natural guru here back with another video and happy vlogmas 2019 i hope you're excited because i am i got some good content coming for y'all but this first video is going to be um a get ready with me talking about a very important topic something i feel like that people need to know just you know to feel comfortable and that's being plus five plus size while on a plane is tips for being comfortable while flying now this can go for anybody anybody can use these tips that i'm going to give but i mainly talk to my women or my men that are plus size that are uncomfortable flying or that have not flown before so these are things that i have experienced and i have taken away from taken away from these experiences and how to make these experiences more better more comfortable and for you to be more confident while flying so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I can give y'all more content like this, you know, real content that, you know, I go through as a plus size influencer. And as you know, this being me everyday life. So, you know, I did give y'all a makeup tutorial, as you can see, face beat for the gods. And um, I added it at the end of the video. So y'all can, if y'all just want to hear me talk about that, then that's going to be in the beginning. But y'all want to see this look, I'm going to add at the end. It's going to be a quick, 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 you know, makeup tutorial but anyway i hope y'all i hope 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 y'all really enjoyed this conversation and um i need y'all to comment down below tell me what y'all think about these topics because um i really want to keep doing them but anyway we are almost at 300 subscribers and we're almost at 20k views since yes guru gain is rising to the top so anyway i hope y'all subscribe i hope y'all like this video make sure y'all comment and i'll see y'all in my next video again happy vlogmas 2019 guru gang okay y'all so i primed my eyes with my la girl pro concealer and my lips i got some lip oil gloss coconut whatever that is and yeah that's what's going to be today's deal i don't know what type of look i'm gonna do but i'm probably going to use my jackie Ina palette and my morphe 3502 palette so um, I'm going to prime my face first with my favorite primer, Milk Hydro Primer. If you don't have it, you should try it. This little bottle was $15, and I brought this. I don't know about this. I, don't know. I brought this like probably like four or five months ago, and I still have a good amount left. But let's get into this topic. So I felt like I really need to talk about this because I have been – on i've been flying for a long time and of course since i was little i was definitely smaller but now that i'm a grown-ass woman <laughs> uh and i got hips and thighs and all that good stuff i really wanted to um to really just like help those who have been in uncomfortable situations like me and i feel like i've the first time i was in this situation I was so uncomfortable and uncomfortable and embarrassed at the same time. And even though like nobody said anything on a plane, I felt like people were looking at me and I should not have to feel that way. But you know, it happens, you know, you can't help how you feel. So the first time this has happened, I was on the plane and Usually when I'm on the plane, I get the hookup. I usually either sat first class or I sat, I sat comfort plus on Delta. So this time I feel like I was not flying with him. I feel like I had booked my own ticket and I happily sat in the exit row. Now I was like, okay, yeah, I'm 5'8". I got long, long legs. So that's definitely going to be more comfortable to me to sit, you know, in the regular basic um, seats. So the seat belt was so tight on me, and this was the first time it had been tight on me since I've gained my, all my weight back because I lost weight. Again, I've been smaller and I've been bigger. And <clears throat> when I lost weight, you know, I can use the regular seat belts. Seat belt is really like, it, it can close, but sis, I can't fucking breathe. So I was like, um, can I get you know, a steep belt extender? And she was like, yeah, she gave it to me because I had to get up and say because um, it was like so many people. So she gave it to me. She talked to all the exit row members. And so at me and she remembered she gave me that seat extender. 
So after she was done talking, literally I'm on my phone. She comes me. She's like, we have to move you. You know, blah, blah, blah. You can't sit here because you have a seatbelt extended. Now, this is what pissed me off. Okay, so instead of you just saying, um, we're going to move you to another seat. And that's all you had to say. You go in to say, we can't move you. People with seatbelt extenders can't sit here. And literally, it's three other people, two other people sitting next to me in that whole area. Everybody listening. So I'm just looking at everybody. Everybody looks at me. So who the fuck wouldn't be embarrassed? I mean, you can't sit in this seat because the seatbelt won't close or the seatbelt is too tight on your stomach. Because it's like, I'm not saying people my size cannot fit in that seatbelt because they can but the way I'm built, I have bigger thighs than most. So my thighs are going to be hurting if the seat belt, you know, is too tight. If it's going around my waist and my, like, that part down there is just too, I have, I'm this bigger down there. And then, you know, some of the people are smaller down low and it's bigger up top and you can just go on their fupa. But that just don't work for me. So when she said that, hell yeah, I was embarrassed. Like, bitch, you could have said this to the side. You could say, can I talk to you? Or, you know, you feel me? So, you know, I, I really did feel some, some type of way. And then at that, if you knew you were going to move me, you could have asked, been asked somebody for, like, for for me to move and change the strange seats with them. Instead of me just sitting there in the middle of the aisleway, like, looking stupid, and we're going around asking people, can they switch seats with me? And everybody knowing why I'm switching seats. Like, that shit is embarrassing. So, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just ready to get the fuck off this plane. And <clears throat> so, I can, I'm about to go to sleep. Because at this moment, I'm like, bitch, everybody. Like, literally, the plane was about to take the fuck off. She was talking and she was telling us about everything. And all of a sudden, I had to get up. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to just deal with it. Because, you know, I feel like what else I was going to do? I was going to cry. Like, the fact of the matter is, I did not know if I needed a seatbelt extender, I had to, I couldn't sit in the exit row. This is tip number one. If you know you big, and you might have a hard time with snapping a seatbelt together because your thighs are too big, before you get on that plane, please go talk to the attendant at the desk. Please go talk to her because it will save you a lot of time. It will save you from you feeling some type of way, it will save you embarrassment. So, you know, go up there and be like, hey, can you tell me where I'm going to be seated? And usually they let you know or they put it on a computer screen at the top. Now, I only fly with Delta majority of the time, but I'm pretty sure that uh, everybody, every airline does that. So tip number one, go ask where the hell you sitting at, okay? You could be like, hmm, is that an exit road? And if she'd be like, no, then okay. And another thing, if you know you got a middle seat, usually B and F are the middle rows. N the middle seats. I'm going go in with some orange. Are the middle seats? Oh, shit. <sighs> they are the middle seats. So, if you get either one of them numbers and she tells you that, and you just be like, sis, um, is there any, you know, way that I can get a seat either by the window or on the end and ask them if the plane is going to be filled. Like, do you have any extra seats to sit or is this plane like, let, let me know. Because if it's not, please sis, either move me to the back or move me to a seat at the end so I can stretch my legs out. Step three, before you even sit down, you are going into the plane, literally. You reach, it's always an attendant there to greet you or whatever. They always say hi. You can go to the side to them and be like, excuse me, man. You can whisper it and be like, um, can I have a seatbelt extender? And she would be like, oh, great. You know, I can get one. If you're sitting in the middle seat, I hope that you, this is, this is in the case that you get it first. If you get to the middle seat first, that little thing that separates you and the person on the end, the end seat, you can leave that up. That's step three. Ask the person that's next to you. I know this may be uncomfortable, but ask that person next to you, can you leave? Can you leave that up? Especially if you have bigger thighs like I do. Because it, it just cuts the circulation off on your thighs. And, you know, they have more room to poke out at the aisle, you know? And 
I feel like that C is not just uncomfortable for bigger people. It's uncomfortable for tall people. If you ain't small, that seat is going to be uncomfortable. I usually try not to wear anything as like thick, like big coats or like jeans or something that's going to, you know, make me feel even more uncomfortable. If the situation happens to you where you do have to move because you're sitting on an exit road and you didn't do all the things I stated before, just stay calm. It's okay, it's happened to plenty of other people. It just happened to me two weeks ago. I didn't know I was in that seat. I didn't even follow my own rules. It had to happen to me a second time for me to be like, okay, Kayla, before you get on this plane, you need to do these things, do these things, do these things, because you know, you already know what problems you're gonna have on this plane, you feel me? So do not feel uncomfortable, do not feel embarrassed. The second time it happened to me, I was literally prepared for it. I was still a little bit uncomfortable, but the way that the flight attendant like handled it, I was just like, you know, you did a good job. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing I felt like is that if you're gonna move me, you have me a seat ready. But the way she went about it, she said, sis, we can talk, you know, she said, can we talk to you right quick? And she pulled me over and then as soon as um, we asked somebody for a seat, he was like, of course. And then I ended up having a seat next to me that was free. And, you know, I could move around. It was, you know, it was only a 30-minute flight. But, you know, stuff like, like, courtesy like that could go a long way. Because picture you being in anybody else's situation. You would, want, you would never want anybody to feel uncomfortable on the flight they paid for. You know, so anytime you're in that situation, sis, do not think you are alone. You can actually come back to this video. And I hope this makes you feel comfortable with yourself. And I will never want people to go not fly because they feel like they're too big or they're not small enough to fit in the seat. Since you can fit in the seats, can't fit in the seat belt. That's why they got seat belt extenders, okay? All right. Be you, be comfortable, be confident, and move to that seat. Put that damn seat belt extender on there, strap you up, and then y'all be off on your way to your destination, okay? So I just want to talk about that, and let's get back into this tutorial because I've been talking a little too much, okay? Thank you.